So this is our family trip to Watkins Glen State Park. We took an extended weekend over the Father's Day weekend. It's only about a four hour drive from New York City, so it's a very doable for an extended weekend. And we just stayed at the, the Watkins Glen State, New York State campground there. Our kids had a great time. You can see little Valen running around this water. This water was awesome because it's like sun baked, so it's like super warm, super pleasant to be in. And he was, he was having a ball. So I uh, definitely recommend this place. There's a lot of really cool things to do outside of the state park, but the state park itself is worth coming to. It's really quite spectacular. And it's free to get in, which is awesome. You do, they do want you to pay for parking, but honestly, we just parked on a side street for free and walked in. So it's, it's free to get into. And uh, yeah, really great views of these magical looking caverns. And uh, it's, it's not a long hike. It's probably just a mile in or maybe even half a mile in and half a mile out. And here's the rainbow bridge. There's a water cascading off the top there, and then the sun hits it, and there's a bridge right behind it if you see it. Uh, so a really cool place. If you're if you're there, you kind of see this uh, the spectrum of lights going through the uh, the water coming down. It's really quite spectacular, and you see some rainbows. Uh, we stayed at the campground. You can book it online on the state's website. It's only twenty-seven dollars a night. And we booked it for two nights. Uh, like, like I said, we didn't stay long, but we had a great time. And there's a Walmart close by, so that's where we bought most of our supplies. We brought things like the, um, the pan there and the, the basket grill. And like I said, we just went to Walmart. We had a little ice cooler bag and just uh, made breakfast and lunch. And uh, I think we went to Pizza Hut for, for one of the lunches. But uh, yeah, generally, it was a pretty cheap economical trip. While we were there, there was this cardboard boat festival. All these people made cardboard boats and tried to go around the, uh, the little lake there. And that's a competition they hold every year. It's the annual cardboard boat festival happening mid-June every year. So that was really cool to see. Uh, Valen really enjoyed that too. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out this place where I'm showing right now. It's kind of a secret yeah, watering video. hole that the locals know. I'm going to provide brief directions to how to... Here's little Alvin coming at me. Wait for, wait for, splash! Nice! So this is that waterfall I was talking about with the swimming area. Uh, right right beyond that waterfall, there's a little pool and those big rocks. You can jump off them. I just did my backflips last year. It was a lot of fun. So to get to this watering hole, you want to go from that red arrow, which is the campground, uh, around the train line which is that blue line and follow this red trail so you go past the train line and then right where that red arrow tip is that's where you want to descend down to the creek and you take that blue arrow to the blue X which this is the blue X right at this watering hole waterfall area and it's a really good time, it's really good uh, fun to check out. But yeah, make sure you swim because that thing wow, is it's deep. Really deep there. And we saw some other cool things here. We saw this little snake. Uh, my wife thinks it's poisonous. I'm not so sure. Maybe it is. It's really tiny. We did a lot of cool things like this uh, right around this area. Watkins Glen Speedway. It, it was pretty fun. It, they let us in for free because it wasn't really a race. There was just Porsche drivers testing it out. This was a cool little pool. And it's uh, free to go in if you camp there. So, really fun place overall to check it out. Highly recommend it. Have fun, guys. Bye.